Okay, so you started there, Peak Pundit, Oli's conquered again, man. Yes. Just taking over London right now. Definitely. Coming into the game uh, on my channel in the week, I said I was a bit sceptical coming into this one. <laughs> yeah, likewise. Completed squad, uh, youth on the bench, attacking options, but credit to whatever the, you know whatever he said in that changing room or in the build-up to this game and them 11 who started fair play to every single one of them they've all come in they've put a shift in um i thought fred was going to start today if he didn't like i wouldn't know what was going on with <laughs> yeah, him yeah like he needs a chance after, yeah. after sunday you know he's overlooked but i know what he said in his uh, pre-match build-up that you know he will get his chance that was tonight i think he'd done very well i thought him and mctominay in the middle was solid short thing that First 20 minutes, he was a bit loose on the ball, gave mm. the possession away, some loose passes. But apart from that, settled into the game, done As well. A lot of the fan base, me included, at times we've said, oh, when we look past our starting 11, it's not very good, it's been off form, etc. We've seen in the last couple of weeks that at Chelsea, we mucked in. Um, yeah, OK. Yes, yeah, sure. We'll keep walking over here. Um, oh, what was I saying? Lost train of thoughts. Yeah, as, as, as fans, we've been saying that, um, you know, we're looking at the squad and you know, when we've um, been playing with our second string or yeah. fringe players, we've not had a lot of confidence in them. Yeah. But we've seen at Chelsea, Liverpool, we had to rely on players coming in. Yeah. Here we've seen it. Maybe we're not as bad squad depth as we actually think. Awesome. Under Oli, maybe, no? When I saw you on Sunday, I said to you, coming into this game, you know, it's an opportunity for the squad players who have been taking a bit of stick. Are they going to be able to live up to it? Mm. I know it's only one game, but looking at them today, them boys have stepped up to the mark. So like you said, as, as a club, maybe have we got more depth in this squad than we actually think? Mm. Um, Lukaku, I slated him on Sunday. I thought mm. he was non-existent on Sunday. But today, look, hats off to him. That's for how me. you want to see him play, right? 100%. Look, I think his best position is obviously as a number nine. He mm. said in the week he's been frustrated, mm. um, but he'll do a job, whatever the manager is, mm. where he wants him to play. Fair, you know, fair play to him. He looked poor Sunday, but today looks a completely different player. Don't he wasn't world class, but mm. he did what we all know. He scored two goals, well, well taken goals, as well. Took him well. The right foot one. The, it just kind of happened. I just heard yeah, everyone shout. I thought it must have gone in. Up. Exactly. Yeah, it was because my view was blocked a bit. Yeah. And I thought, what's going on? But hats off to him. Look, any player coming to get, he knows he's getting stick from the United fans. Mm. Fair play to him. And he gave off. a little high five when he everyone did. was saying, I you know, singing his song and stuff. Hundred percent. I think like you know, today he showed a bit to the United fans what he's about. Obviously, we want to see that more often, more regular. But look, hats off to him. He's coming. He's done a job for us. Mm. A lot made of Luke Shaw, people were getting on to me for not giving him the recognition against yeah, yeah. Liverpool because I just didn't see him as man in the match. I went on to say, look, he had a good game defensively but going forward. But that was in the past. Today, outstanding. Um, you know, he went on a great run. I want to see him be more direct. That's what we want to see. Do you want to see that more from him? Yeah, 100%. I think Sunday was a bit restricted with, uh, yeah. obviously, Mark Salah. I think mm. his, uh, his uh, responsibilities were obviously defensively. Yeah. But, you know, in, in the not so big games, if you like, I think he's got that freedom to go forward. We saw it today. But defensively, he looks solid again. You know, he's getting up and down, supporting his kind of front forward, if you like, on the left. Done well, very, very well. He's been, I could have given him manager, man of the match today. But mm. for me today, I'm going to give it to Lukaku, purely because of the stick he's taken. Mm. And to come back from that and put in a performance like that, off to him, you know, we've got to get behind him. Going forward, confident now, obviously, well, why not? I mean, looking for that top four game on a, on a Saturday, obviously, we go out to PSG. Okay, that's up in the air. That's just, you know, we just see what we can get out of that, if anything. Um, but then moving forward, you know, big game still to come and the games are, you know, coming thick and fast. Still happy with top four, still comfortable that we can get it? I, I think so, because the difference what I'm seeing with Solskjaer in his press conference yesterday, he's coming today, he's got a depleted squad, he knows his back's against the wall with this, but he's just positive with everything. Mm. You know, he's bringing that light back into the club and that's what we're all loving as fans. Mm. Another test, look, we've tested him against Arsenal away, Tottenham away, Chelsea away, um, albeit PSG, tough mm. game with the injuries. Again, today was another test for him, coming into here with a lack of a of first team starting mm. players. He's come here, he's won it. For me, the job's his. The job's yeah. his. Um, he's got to get I think we all understand it. The club will be very stupid too because A, he's going to unsettle the players and secondly, look like the we fans said. The fans like, would be awful, oh, wouldn't it? And it'd be so difficult for a new manager to come in and, and be like, well, exactly, look at the pressure to be under. 100%. For me, the job's his. Um, top four, look, we've still got to play Arsenal, we've still got City and Chelsea to come. Big games, but with the confidence these boys have got, why not? You know, the fans will keep continuing to get behind the club. Now, these, these players, like I said, this is a test for them to, to kind of um, put in performances to stake their claim for when mm. the guys who are injured come back in to give the management some selection headaches. Mm. Hats off to all of them today. On the door, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Listen, man, thank you very much. Thank I'll see you in the next game. Nice Cheers, man. You. Big respect to all you guys for watching that video. Make sure you check out more United Stand content here and here. Yeah, Like, subscribe and share. And the socials are along the bottom. You know what to do. Go get following. Go, 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 go.